Hello people, this is a rainbow crack tutorial on how to create a jar file. Well this is how you do it. Also in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to, where to download jQuery and how to use it and how to create a jar file and how to successfully open the jar file. Okay, so let's just go to the jQuery website. Here I am at jcreator.com on Google. Let's click on download. Now we look for the jQuery LE version, and the latest version is um, 4.5. We don't want the pro version because it you have to pay for it, and it's you get the trial, so you can download it. But anyway, this is the one what you want to get. This one here. Okay. Now you download that and follow the instructions. Now let's go back to jQuery. So once you've successfully downloaded jQuery LE, yeah, open it up. Here's the splash screen, you get the tip of the day, close it, unless you want to read it. Um, and this is how you set up a project, file, project. Try to do this on everything you do. And you get, these are the options, I'm going to change the location of my path, of where I want it. Let me go to desktop. And I'm looking for... Jar file. Okay, I'm going to call it jar file and I've put the location in an empty folder just for this tutorial so you have to do it. Next, finish, wait for it to load, finish button will come up and now you left click on, now you'll get the workspace and the project called jar file. Left click, right click, add new class, I'd always add the class and you always call the class the same thing that you call the project. So uh, we're going to call it jar file. And they give you the choice of making it public or something. That just changes the code. So we're going to click finish. And here we are. Well, how do you create a jar file in here? Because now we've created it, we'll go to my location. What do you get in it? Well, you only get this. This is. It creates a jar source file, it creates a jar project, but no jar file. What is the point? So what you do is, you go to configure, options, you go to tools, on tools, this would be empty, so y'all should look like this. You go, you click on new right here, you go and create jar file, create jar file come, will come up right there. Press OK. And now, when you go into tools, you have a create jar file tool. Shortcut key, control one. Now we're going to create um, public static void main um, main string public main string uh, Okay, this is, you're probably thinking, oh, wow, what does all that mean? Well, in my next tutorials, I'll tell you about that, what it means. There's plenty of other tutorials on YouTube, I think, that I'll tell you. If not, and you're really desperate, just contact me on my email address, but I'll leave you my information. And we're going to put the famous hello world. And we'll put semicolon to finish it. You're probably thinking, what does this system out.printl mean? As I said, if you're desperate, ask me, because I do actually know, but don't want to waste time in this tutorial. Now I'm going to go to build, build a project, and process complete. Now we'll go to run, run the project, and it should say process complete, and now it says hello world. That's fine. Now let's go to, now let's, Create the jar file. Go straight to desktop. Um, here we go in our jar file. And here's a jar file here. It's a executable jar file. Wow. Let's click on it. Hmm. You may have hooked. I haven't seen any other videos on YouTube telling you how to make this or 
but there I've seen some jars but this is the message for it's the dirt like you know that comes up you press OK let's just read that message okay, so basically it says fail to load the manifest main class manifest file attribute from the location let's press OK OK to fix this problem you'll need to download WinRAR so let's ok so I've just found a place called rarlab.com and i just show you that just for a few more seconds ok basically I just typed in google WinRAR download and then this came up and you click on WinRAR 3.8 on the download page and you click now you click run I've already got this software so I won't need to do this anyway so once you've got it left click and go to open wave choose well, first you'll have to choose the default program WinRAR won't be there so choose default program click on it won't be there so you'd have to browse it find the location I think well, use your use logic sense on how to do that. So I'm just gonna pass them few steps. Open with Win right now. Okay, a bunch of shit comes up close. And um, now we go into the it it unzips it all so we're going to manifest. Open the manifest. Okay, and I don't think I don't know what'll happen. So you've got to open manifest. You've got to open the manifest file as a text document. Sure. I can't remember how I did that, but I've got it open as a text document. Once you've got it open as a text document in Notepad, you click, you type in main class. Um, what do I call my class? Jar file. That's that's it really. I mean, press Control Save. Well, file save. Right. Now we'll X off that. Now it'll say file manifest. You wish yes. We freaking do. Yes. And I'll X off this son of a. And now here we are back on here. Let's give it another go clicked on it yes that was successful no errors i just show you again i clicked on open and because it's just the hello world it's not going to open up so well that's my tutorial so whenever you make but if you did to actually make one a jar file anyway it works so I always update the manifest file and um, Thanks for watching. I should have some more. I'll have some more tutorials on YouTube soon about loops or anything. Just leave a comment. And thanks for watching. I'll go in full detail with high quality. Start watching. <laughs> okay. Goodbye.